Today, Era 9 of Souls RNG was just leaked. And let me tell you, this game is about to completely change as we know it. But what is going on, Nick Army? How on earth was this even leaked? And are people going to be getting into a lot of trouble for this? Recently, we did an official live stream with Roblox, and here we presented our development history and a lot of future content. Now, this is absolutely huge, because if you guys don't already know, Souls RNG has been around for quite a while already. Obviously, there's a lot of insane auras, auras that you are seen as a god if you have. But the reality is about Souls RNG, this game has been the same exact thing ever since it came out. The same tiny, small little map. Obviously, every new era, there's a few new auras, but eventually it gets a little boring. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to show you are the biggest leaks you will ever see on Souls RNG. Because let me tell you, Era 9 is about to completely change the game as we know it. Okay, I'm about to show the entire announcement, and you're gonna quickly realize that something is a little crazy about this Soul RNG Era 9 announcement video. You're gonna notice it right now in three, two, one, Souls RNG history and after content. They're about to talk about the entire history of this game, starting at era one, going all the way to era nine. That's right, the future of this game as we know it. But something's a little off because as I skip through this video and look at all of the history and the future of this game, you see there's some leaks, but everything is in Korean. So let's start off with the bad news. I don't understand Korean, so I have no idea but what they're saying. But here's the good news. We have a developer of Souls RNG that actually translated this and showed everything we need to know. And this update is about to be the most insane thing you have ever seen. Starting with page number one, Souls RNG after content. And look at this aura. This is crazy. Massive rework of the game. The upcoming Era 9 update will feature a massive rework of the game to improve visuals and systems. You're probably thinking, I love Souls RNG. What on earth are they going to rework to the game? What are they going to change? And are they going to ruin this game? Is it even going to feel like Souls RNG after this update is out? Let me just show you, you're gonna be blown away. It says map structure organized, UI revamp, aura rework, and script optimization. Now, if you're bored, keep on watching because I'm about to show you unreleased Era 9 auras, and they are crazy. Through updates, users experience smoother gameplay, the development team plans to reduce content development time in the future, and introduce quick and rich updates. That's right, they take a long time in between eras. They take a long time releasing auras. So if you basically beat this game, gotten every single aura, and you're bored, you're not going to be bored for much longer, Nick Army. By the way, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you love Souls RNG. Era 8, several contents non-ported from the Era 8.5 update are scheduled to be released. New season content, various convenience features, and various auras receiving a warm response from the community. We are preparing carefully and thoroughly for this update as we will believe it's the hottest update in Souls RNG history. That is right. That is a huge statement, Nick Army. Souls RNG, probably the biggest era ever, was Era 8. And now they're completely redesigning the game for Era 9. And I have a feeling this is going to be huge. And this is where it gets juicy. Worldview Story Summary Building a worldview that involves a lot of thought and repeated attempts. The process of making Aura no longer a flashy VFX, but a character with a story by taking the conflict structure of between the forces of order and chaos and including various interactions within it in the story. The ultimate goal is to create one large worldview that continues to expand by sharing opinions with many players who passionately play Souls RNG. You probably just heard me read that and you're thinking, what the heck does that mean? What is going on? 
they're basically explaining that there's going to be, I assume what this means, there's gonna be like powers, maybe you can PVP or something, because obviously right now you just kind of walk around the game doing really nothing, you just have flex battles, there's really not much to do besides spin. But this is about to fully change, and that is going to be insane. Proposed content in this regard, storytelling NPC quest lines, raid content, team game content, story-based video cinematics, racing challenges through puzzle gimmicks, etc. We want to build a worldview to communicate with many players and build a strong fan base, and we plan to launch other games and various events that share the same worldview in the future. Soul of the Forces of Order and Chaos Abomination of Forces. So it seems like it's two different teams and you get to pick your team. That's what I'm kind of getting at, which sounds literally incredible. But Nick Army, if you're already impressed or you hate this, keep on watching because we're about to show you more brand new auras. We're about to leak the entirety of Souls RNG Era 9, and this is gonna be crazy. Aura Interaction. Apart from skills, we plan to add elements that provide special changes when Aura interacts with maps, biomes, NPCs, or other auras. Example, the silhouette of the Eclipse Aura appears due to the combination of solar and lunar. Interaction between, I can't even pronounce that, and Twilight. Up effect caused by the collision of soul and abomination. Guys, this is wild. This is literally insane. Candles and magic circles that react with hyper vaults. Oblivion's financial resource interaction. I don't even know what half of this means. But look at these auras, they look insane. But Nick Army, there is still so much more to talk about. This might be the biggest Roblox game of all time within a year. If they come out with this update very, very soon, it's going to be ridiculous. And I can't wait, but there's one more thing I need to show you, Nick Army. You think of Souls RNG and you think of this tiny little base plate that doesn't really have much to it. You know, you can go around here, you can go inside of the cave, but so what? It gets boring visually after a while and all you really do is just sit there and spin, let's be honest. Say hello to Souls RNG World 2. That is right. And here it is. Look how insane, I mean, it doesn't really show much, World 2, planning is a task to horizontally increase game content. Rather than creating all biomes and aura in one world, divide it into World 1 and World 2. This reminds me of Blocks Roots. The biome and aura that appear in each world are different, a strategy to reduce the burden of releasing more biomes and auras, and to make the amount of content appear wider. Guys, this is wild. This is insane. Souls RNG is about to change forever. Subscribe to the channel if you're excited.